Mina san, konnichiwa. Welcome back. In this lesson, we will learn new Japanese grammar from the Mina no Nihongo textbook, lesson 17. In this video, we will learn about nai form of the verb and its uses. Sore dewa, hajime masho. Here are the grammar points that we would learn in this lesson. The first one is the verb nai form, meaning not do verb. This is the plain or informal form or version of verb masen, which we've learned in lesson 4. First, we will learn how to modify the verb from mas form to verb nai form. For group 1, we just change the i or i line to a or a line and then add nai at the end. For example, nakushimas becomes nakusa nai. So she becomes sa. Sa shi su se so. So she becomes sa. Dashimas becomes dasanai. Kaishimas becomes kaesanai. Nugimas becomes nuganai. Motte ikimas becomes motte ikanai. Nomimas becomes nomanai. Hairimas becomes hairanai. Torimas becomes toranai. Kairimas becomes kairanai. Owarimas becomes owaranai. Kakimas becomes kakanai. However, for verbs with i syllables before mas, their conjugation is different. For kaimas, it becomes ka wa nai. So the i syllable becomes wa syllable. Again, Kaimas becomes kawanai. Aimas becomes awanai. Haraimas becomes harawanai. Skaimas becomes skawanai. And so on. For verbs that belongs to group 2, we simply change mas to nai. Such as oboimas. Oboenai. Wasoremas. Wasorenai. Dekakemas. Dekakenai. Kakemas. Kakenai. Tabemas. Tabenai. Mimas. Minai. Abimas. Abinai. Karimas. Karinai. Orimas. Orinai. For group 3, it's very similar to group 2, but there are some exceptions. Shimas becomes shinai. So we just change mas to nai. But for verbs such as kimas, ki becomes ko followed by nai. Kimas becomes konai. Motte kimas becomes motte konai. And again, for verbs followed by shimas, just change shimas to nai. For example, shimpai shimas, shimpai shinai. Zangyo shimas, zangyo shinai. Shuchō shimas, shuchō shinai. For the meaning of these verbs, make sure to check out the vocabulary list for this lesson. Okay, so the first usage of the nai form of the verb is to say, please don't do verb, which is verb nai form followed by de kudasai. Nani nani nai de kudasai. Verb nai de kudasai. This is the opposite of verb te kudasai, which means please do verb or please do this action. For example, Please don't lose your tickets. Chiketto, don't lose. So our verb is lose, which is nakoshimas. 
So first, let's change it to verb nai form, which is nakusanai followed by de and then please, kudasai. Chiketo nakusanai de kudasai. Another example, please don't take pictures inside. Nakade inside. Pictures is sashin o. And our verb is take pictures, which is torimas. In nai form, it is toranai. Sashin o toranai followed by please don't. De kudasai. Nakade sashin o toranai de kudasai. I'm fine. Please don't worry. Watashi wa daijoubu. Or watashi wa daijoubu desu. Worry is shimpai shimasu, which becomes shimpai shi nai, followed by please don't. De kudasai. Daijoubu desu. Shimpai shi nai de kudasai. Please don't forget your passport. Anata no pasuporto wa or anata no pasporto o forget is wasuremas. The nai form is wasure nai. This verb is from group two, so we just simply change mas to nai. Wasure nai de kudasai. Pasporto wasure nai de kudasai. Of course, you can simply say verb naide to be less formal. It means don't do verb. For example, chiketo nakosa naide. Don't lose your tickets. Or don't take pictures inside. Nakade shashin o tora naide. And so on. Another use of the verb nai form is to say have to or must do a verb by using verb na remove i and then add kereba narimasen nani nani na kereba narimasen or verb na kereba narimasen this is the opposite of you must not do a verb which is verb te wa ikemasen if you remember from previous lesson this literally means Verb na kereba, if you don't, narimasen, it won't do. If you don't, it won't do. It's a double negative, so now it becomes a positive, which means you must do a verb. For example, I have to return this book by next week. Raishu made ni, so by next week. This book, kono hon o, have to return. So our verb is to return, which is kaishimas. So first we change it to nai form, and then remove i, and add kereba narimasen. For example, kaisana. So we remove i, kaisana, and attach kereba narimasen. Watashi wa raishu made ni kono hon wo kaisa na kereba narimasen. You have to eat your vegetables. Yasai wo. Our verb is eat. Tabena kereba narimasen. Yasai wo tabena kereba narimasen. I'm going out with my husband. So, I have to go home early. Or, I need to go home early. Otto to dekakemasu kara. So, otto, husband, to, with my husband, dekakemasu, to go out. So, kara, I have to go home early. Hayaku, go home is kairimasu, which becomes kaira. Na kereba narimasen. 
So, kairimas becomes kaira na kereba narimasen. Otto to dekakemasu kara hayaku kaira na kereba narimasen. You must drink the medicine after you eat. Tabete kara, so after you eat or after eating. Tabete kara, kusuri the medicine, drink, which is nomimas, which becomes nomana kereba narimasen. Tabete kara, kusuri nomana kereba narimasen. Nakereba narimasen is a very formal phrase and is often used during formal situation, like when you're talking to a superior, but usually you don't use it in a normal setting. Other ways to say this is naito ikemasen. For example, I have to go. Ikanaito ikemasen. The less formal way of saying I have to do something are naito ikenai. For example, ikanaito ikenai. And the most casual are nakucha or nakya. For example, ikanakcha or ikanakya. I have to go. So we can also ask questions using this pattern. For example, do I have to return this book by next week? Raishu made ni kono hon wo kaisa nakereba narimasen ka? So we just added ka at the end to change this into a question. Do I have to eat the vegetables? Yasai o tabenakereba narimasen ka? Yasai o tabenakereba narimasen ka? What time do you have to go home? Nanji ni kairanakereba narimasen ka? Nanji ni kairanakereba narimasen ka? How many times must I drink medicine or the medicine? Nankai kusuri o nomanakereba narimasen ka? Nankai kusuri o nomanakereba narimasen ka? Next is how to say don't have to or no need to do verb. We use the nai form of the verb again. We remove i and add kutemo i desu. Verb naktemo i desu. This literally means verb naktemo even if you don't i desu. It's okay. Even if you don't, it's okay. For example, it's okay, you don't have to pay. It's okay is daijoubu. Our verb is to pay, which is haraimas. Harawana. So, haraimas becomes harawana. We remove i and then add kutemo i desu. Another example, you don't need to bring anything. Nanimo, anything. Our verb is to bring, which is motte kona from the word motte kimas. So it becomes motte kona kutemo i desu. Nanimo motte kona kutemo i desu. Anata wa nani mo motekonakute mo ii desu. Please come in. You don't have to take off your shoes. Dozo, o agari kudasai. So if you remember this phrase, Dozo, o agari kudasai, the literal meaning is to please come up or please enter. Kutsu o, your shoes. So our verb is to take off or to remove, which is nugimas. So it becomes nugana kutemo ii desu. Dozo, o agari kudasai. Kutsu o nugana kutemo ii desu. Last example, I have things to do tomorrow. So is it okay even if I don't go? So the first sentence is, I have things to do tomorrow, so 
明日用事がありますから、so, 明日 tomorrow 用事 things to do があります。to have。so から、is it okay even if I don't go? 私は行かな。from the verb 行きます。so it becomes 行かなくてもいいですか So, because this is a question, we added ka at the end. 明日用事がありますから、行かなくてもいいですか明日用事がありますから、私は行かなくてもいいですか Next is making the object or, or the receiver of the action as the topic. So, we've learned that we mark the object with the particle o. But if you want to make the object as the topic of the sentence, You can simply replace o with the particle wa. For example, please do not eat the cake. So normally we would say, Keiki o tabenai de kudasai. So here, the object is marked by the particle o, followed by the verb, Keiki o tabenai de kudasai. But if we want to say, As for the cake, please do not eat it. So we are making The cake or the object as the topic of the sentence, and our predicate is please do not eat it. So we say, keiki wa, so we replace o with wa, followed by tabenai de kudasai. Keiki wa tabenai de kudasai. Another example, please hand in the report by Friday. So normally we will say, kinyo bi made ni reporto o. Dashte kudasai. So here we mark the object with particle o. We can change it to As for the report, please hand it in before Friday or by Friday. Reporto wa kinyo bi made ni dashte kudasai. Reporto wa kinyo bi made ni dashte kudasai. And lastly, Nani nani made ni, meaning by or before the deadline or the time limit. So it means that the action must be done before or by the deadline. So this is different from made. So the difference between made versus made ni is that made means that the action is taking place continuously during that time frame, while made ni. The action must take place anytime between now until the time limit. So, for the example, kuji kara goji made hatarakimas. So, the action is continuously taking place from 9 to 5. Anyway, let's take a look at some examples of how to use made ni. Please come here on or before Monday. Getsu yo bi made ni. Please come. Kite kudasai. Or ここに来てください。The party will be over by 10 o'clock. パーティーは10時までに終わります。So the party might end earlier, but it will not go beyond 10 o'clock. So パーティーは10時までに終わります。I have to submit this report by tomorrow, so I'll be working late. 明日までにレポートを出さなければなりませんから残業します。明日までにレポートを出さなければなりませんから残業します。Again, let's review what we've learned today. The first one is how to form the nai form of the verb. For group one, we simply change E line to a line and then added nai. However, for words with e syllable before mas, we change it to wa and then add nai. For group two, we simply change masu to nai. Same with group three, but with the exceptions of verb kimas, which becomes konai. We've learned how to say please don't do an action by using verb nai form followed.
followed by de kudasai. For example, chiketto wo nakusanai de kudasai. Shashin wo toranai de kudasai. Passporto wo wasurenai de kudasai. Shinpai shinai de kudasai. And so on. We've also learned how to say must do an action. By using the nai form of the verb, we remove i and then add kereba narimasen. Verb na kereba narimasen. For example, hon wo kaesa na kereba narimasen. Yasayo tabe na kereba narimasen. Kusuri wo noma na kereba narimasen. You can also ask questions such as Nanji ni kaera na kereba narimasen ka? We've also learned how to say don't have to do or don't need to do an action. By using verb nai form, again we remove i and then added kutemo i des. Verb na kutemo i des. For example, nani mo motte konak temo i des. Kutsu wo nugana kutemo i des. Harawana kutemo i des. You can also ask questions such as ikana kutemo i des ka? And lastly, it's time for our conversation or speaking practice. Nenmatsu made ni nani o shinakereba narimasen ka? Yasumi wa hataraka nakereba narimasen ka? Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. If you have any questions or clarifications, make sure to write them down in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, please click the like button. And subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the future lessons. For our next lesson, we will learn about the dictionary form of the verb and how to use them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!